So the first step of this next project is we need to create the user interface, the user form inside of VBA. This form is how users are going to interact with our worksheets, add worksheets, run the final report, navigate to different worksheets. It's going to be the main interface to be able to work within this quarterly report document. So let's start building out the user form inside of our VBA window. So open in front of you, I've got the example file, quarterly report form 01. It's a .xlsm document. It's already got the code from the previous exercises. The add headers, format headers, automate sum, and the final report loop as well. So I'm going to get it into my VBA window, developer, individual basic. All right, there we go. Here's our, our code from our earlier exercises. That's great. We're going to keep that around. Uh, but now I want to be able to create the user form. Inside the VBA window, you might recall when you first opened it up, when there's nothing in there, you had to insert a module. And then within that module, you inserted a procedure. Well, in order for us to work with the form, we've got to insert a user form. So if we go up to your insert menu, let's go ahead and find user form. So this is now going to create a new tree inside of your project explorer. I just highlighted the wrong one. There's your forms folder. And we get a default form there called user form one. Now here's my form, user form one. Not much going on inside there. It opened up a little toolbox for me to work inside of. Uh, if that toolbox is not there on your screen for some reason, you'll find it up on your toolbar, top of your screen. Looks like a little hammer and wrench, kind of crossbones type of feel. So if I give that a click, this will reopen my toolbox. So this is the beginning of my user form. If I were to run this right now, just like you would run a procedure, select the form, hit the run button up above, Here's my form. It's not much to look at, but I got a form on my screen. This is the beginning of our user interface. Now we got to start adding controls to this form. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I want to be able to add three little controls here. We're going to create a combo box or a drop down menu where people can select from the different worksheets inside of our workbook. We're going to create two buttons. We're going to create a button that will allow users to add worksheets and create a button that will allow people to run the final report procedure as well. So let's start out by adding these controls. So from my toolbox, and you got a number of different types of controls there. One, two, three, fourth one over. Now it looks like a little drop down menu. This is called a combo box. So that's going to be my first one. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to select it. Go out to my form and I'll click again. And there's my little combo box. All right, now I want a couple more buttons here or a couple more controls. Um, specifically, I want two buttons. So looking back here at my toolbox, looking for the button control, uh, it looks like it's got a little AB on it, a little rectangle with AB, it's called a command button. We want two of those. So I'm gonna click on that, go out to my form, I'll click once, I'm gonna go grab it again, click, and I'll click again to add those two buttons to my form. All right. So I'm starting to get there. So actually, one more thing I want to put here, one more control. I want to put a text box up above that's going to say something like, uh, pick a worksheet to navigate to or something like that. So looking back at my controls, let's grab the big capital A. This is your label control. And I'm going to place that right above my combo box. It'll just be a little label there. We can resize it if we like. But then it'll act as some text to tell people what to do for that little combo box. Now, we're definitely not done here yet, but we're starting to come. We're starting to get there, starting to get our, our form to look more like a user interface. So if I go back up and I hit the play button, there's my nice little form. It's got a drop down menu, nothing in it yet, but it's got a little drop down menu. It's got a label up above that we got to put some text in, and we got a couple of buttons that I can click on to potentially do something at some point. So try this out first. Get your form going. So open up your VBA window within the practice workbook, go to insert user form and drop out a label, a combo box and two command buttons onto this form. And remember, you can always hit the play button to go test it out and see what it looks like. So get this part done. Well, once we come back to the next video, we're going to take a look at 
manipulating these controls, changing their names and some of their other properties. So I'll get this done first and then we'll jump into the next video.